Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, you will learn how to create an AppConvas menu and Elementor for free. So, if you have a WordPress Elementor website and you want to create an AppConvas menu where you can display menu or any other element that can be triggered using a button and uh, you can have cool animations on it, you can do it easily by watching this video. And let's have a look at some demos available in this free plugin, then we will see how we can install and use this plugin. The plugin that we will be using in this video is Elements Kit. I have a couple of videos about this plugin already and let's have a look at some of Canvas menus I'll scroll down and you can see from left side you can notice the menu so this is a logo, menu, a button and social icons obviously you can have your own colors, background, menu and you can use this for different purposes that we will cover later on and now you can close this from here or you can click anywhere to close this then this will be from right side with a different background and menu let's scroll down we have some other demos reveal content this will reveal content like this slide and push content you can see you can use this for different purposes okay you can use this as a pop-up as well slide along Scroll down, we have these menus. So you can display different elements like a logo, heading, text, gallery, then contact info, even a contact form and so on. Now let's see how we can create these type of menus and Elementor for free. And to download this plugin, just follow the first link in the description, it will take you to this page. You can explore these menus as well and you can just click on purchase now. Don't worry, we don't have to buy anything here, okay? We can use their free version for which you can scroll down. Here you will see free download. Just click on it and it will take you to WordPress repository from here you can download this plugin. Just click on download and you will get a zip file like this. And after download, you can just upload this to your WordPress. Let's go to our WordPress dashboard. By the way, this is the website that we will be using in this video. So let's go to its dashboard. And to upload that plugin, we will go to plugins, add new, upload plugin, and choose file. And then select Elements Catlight plugin, open it, and install now. And let's activate it. And once you activate it, you will see a new tab here. Just click on it. And it will open up the Elements Cat dashboard. Here you can see the dashboard, widgets, modules and then we can also create header and footers and forms using this plugin. And so first go to widgets and make sure to enable of canvas menu. Ok, so let's scroll down and you can see header of canvas. This is already enabled. Ok, now we can use this element on any page everywhere. But let's create a header and let's display a menu. Ok, so to create a header we will go to header and footer. We don't have any header and footer. Let's click add new. And this will be header. I'll just call this header and condition will be on entire site. We'll activate it and edit content. So you can see we can create header and footer using this plugin and using free elementor. Now we can create a header from start but they also have some templates. So let's click on it. Now these are entire pages but let's go to sections. And here we can choose another category which will be header now we have different headers here okay we can use any of them let's use this one and this is our header now instead of this we can add our own logo and this is the menu so we will select a menu here so we got a ready-made header okay now let's say instead of this menu i need an app canvas menu okay so for that we will search for app canvas and you can see header app canvas by the way, this is available in Elementor Pro, but in this plugin, we are getting it for free. So let's drag it over here. This is the Canvas menu. Okay, let's remove this one and also the search. Now we can do further settings for it, like the overlay color that we can change it over here. And this is the hamburger icon, which is this one. You can change it if you want to, just click on it and then use any of these icons. And let's say this is fine for the closed icon. You can choose another icon, okay? And then disable scroll. If you enable this option, then people will not be able to scroll the page while the menu is open, okay? Of canvas settings. This will be slide or fade. 
and this is the duration you can increase and decrease it and then you can go to style and you can do settings for the hamburger and the close icon the hover colors the border type alignment and all these I will not cover all these in this short video and this was just to show you about the off-canvas okay then you can go to off-canvas panel and you can choose the background type and the width the position and padding for now let's say this is fine okay we will just align this to the right side let's publish it and if I visit the website now you can see that header over here okay if I click here we got the menu click edit content to add the content now to add some content here we can close it and let's go back to our header which we are creating using elementor okay and if i click here here we can edit the content so let's click here now in this widget area we will only add the content to that of canvas area okay so it's up to you you can add a logo menu button social icons videos and so on let me quickly show you if i drag an image i can use this as a logo so I'll use my logo here and then I can use a menu which is again from this plugin for free okay sorry we will use the name menu here and I can select a menu from the dashboard this is my main menu we can align this to center if you need the vertical menu here you can upgrade to the premium plan or you can use list which is from normal elementor okay and this is the icon list i can use it as a menu let's remove these and also remove the icon and we'll call this home i can link this to home page and let's create another one for about page and this will be linked to about this is just to show you okay you can just create your menu so in this way you can create a menu okay then you can change the styling here like you can change the text color you can change it on hover okay let's duplicate it so let's say this is our menu we can align this to center so you can either use the menu or you can use the list you can change the spacing and let's add a heading we'll call it follows again we'll align this to center and let's use social icons so you can either use the normal elementor icons or you can use the plugin icons okay and then you can add a button if you want to and that's it let's say this is our of canvas menu let's remove this and publish it now we will close it and now if i publish it and refresh it let's try again so we got our content along with the logo menu followers social icons and learn more so in this way you can have an up canvas menu you can customize it you can add the element that you want so i hope this video will be helpful for you again the plugin link is in the description and to learn more about wordface elementor you can just follow my channel and still if there were any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next